how Casey Vieira gained 63 pounds of muscle in 28 days. So a couple of weeks ago I made a video about how Tim Ferriss managed to gain 34 pounds of muscle in 28 days without steroids. That video received only lovely and cheerful comments and it's not at all one of my most disliked videos I've made. So I thought it would be a great idea to make a video about how Casey Vieira managed to gain 63 pounds of muscle in 28 days, also supposedly without steroids. So I'm just going to lay out all the information, the training methods and the results for you to judge in this video. This is the Colorado experiment. The experiment was designed by Arthur Jones and supervised by Dr. Elliot Plessy who was the director of the exercise lab in the Department of Physical Education at the Colorado State University. The experiment was intended to be a brutal example of minimalist training and with three workouts per week, Casey Vieter supposedly gained 63 pounds of muscle in 28 days where he increased his body weight by 45 pounds and lost 18 pounds of fat. Now how the f*** did he do that? So let's back up a bit before the experiment started. Casey Vieter was a freak of nature and his genetics were absolutely insane. He was the youngest ever Mr. America winner in 1971 at only 19 years of age, weighing 218 pounds at 5 foot 8 inches tall. He demolished the competition against people who were a lot older than him and had years of training on him. In an interview with bodybuilding.com he said that at a young age he seemed to grow doing regular sports that his arms and legs grew from just running and hitting baseballs and that his body responded quickly. And there has been a lot of speculation about his weight before the experiment. Some say that he simply gained weight back following a car accident and Ellington Darden writes about the Colorado experiment in his book The New High Intensity Training and states that a serious accident at the plant he was working at caused him to lose part of his finger and a few days after that he almost died due to an allergic reaction. He had little appetite and lost 33 pounds of muscle the following 4 months. Tim Ferriss asked Casey about it in his book The 4 Hour Body and he told Tim that he simply dieted down for about 2 months as instructed pre-experiment and lost approximately 20 pounds of muscle mass. Now either way Casey demonstrated the potential for greater than average muscle mass and during the experiment he was rebuilding previously existing levels of muscle mass. The Colorado experiment took place in 1973, two years after he won Mr. America, when Casey was just 21 years old. And Arthur Jones recognized that Casey needed to get back to training and with the knowledge of his muscle building potential, he wanted to do a case study with him. Jones sent all his latest Nautilus machines to Colorado State University and had them assembled in the exercise physiology laboratory. The experiment lasted for 28 days and was closely monitored by Dr. Elliot Plessy, the director of the exercise lab in the Department of Physical Education and the results were published in Iron Man magazine. Arthur Jones believed that muscle growth was related to the intensity of the workout and a large amount of training was neither necessary nor desirable and the average workout was done in under 30 minutes every other day for the full 28 days. Now the same year as the experiment was conducted, Arthur Jones invited a young Arnold Schwarzenegger at 23 years old. He had just won his first Olympia and came to train with him and Casey Vieter. This is what Arnold said about the training Casey Vieter did in the October 1973 Muscle Builder magazine. Vieter is a gym monster. I've never witnessed such ferocious, almost suicidal training in my life. What the hell are you? He kills the weights, he mangles the equipment and most of all he tortures himself to hysteria. Someday he may have to be dragged from the gym in a straitjacket and I'm not kidding. His main training principle is forced reps but not the kind I or any other star have the guts to do. I mean forced reps after the last normal rep has been forced out. He does forced reps until an observer could puke of horror. He switches from movement to movement, from apparatus to apparatus, faster than you could take notes. He bangs away at each set until he can't muster any muscle twitch. He flushes each body part until the limb or area is paralyzed. This prime quality multiplied by dedication and madness no bodybuilder has ever approached. If I had to do this every day, I'd opt for a hernia, go back to Austria and be a ski instructor. I'm not shooting on you. So what did the training look like? First of all he used extremely heavy weights 
and negative only sets was the major principle he followed. The weights was raised with some help using a lever and then lowered with the target muscle, allowing heavier weights than otherwise could be lifted. The Nautilus equipment that was used was designed in a way where you could use your legs to help in the positive movements. This was done with only one set to failure. Second, exercises were paired into supersets to pre-fatigue a muscle prior to taking it to failure with a combined movement. So for example, before taking it to failure with negative only doing squats, he would have already done leg extensions. He completed a total of 15 exercises in 27 minutes and 40 seconds. The workout looked like this. Leg press on universal machine, 750 pounds for 20 reps, no rest if followed by. Leg extension on universal machine, 225 pounds for 20 repetitions, no rest, followed by full squat with barbell, 502 pounds for 13 repetitions, 2 minutes rest and water. Leg curl on universal machine, 175 pounds for 12 repetitions, no rest, followed by one leg calf raise with 40 pound dumbbell in one hand, 15 repetitions for each leg, no rest, followed by pull over on Nautilus machine, 290 pounds for 11 repetitions, no rest, followed by behind the neck lat isolation exercise on Nautilus machine, 200 pounds for 20 repetitions, no rest, followed by rowing on Nautilus machine, 200 pounds for 10 repetitions, no rest, followed by behind the neck lat pull down exercise on Nautilus machine, 210 pounds for 10 repetitions, 2 minute rest and water. Straight arm lateral raise with dumbbells, 40 pounds in each hand for 9 repetitions, no rest, followed by behind the neck shoulder press with barbell, 185 pounds for 10 repetitions, no rest, followed by bicep curl on Nautilus plate loading machine, 110 pounds for 8 repetitions, no rest, followed by shin ups using his own body weight, 12 reps, 2 minute rest and water. Tricep extension on Nautilus plate loading machine, 125 pounds for 9 reps, no rest, followed by parallel dip using his own body weight, 22 reps. So that's the total workout he did while Arnold was watching him. Only pain. So what is also noticeable is that Casey ate about 6 to 8 meals per day like it was his job, which it actually was. He had a cash incentive per pound of muscle gained. And this is what Bill Starr said about the Colorado experiment. What the public didn't know was that Casey was taking steroids the whole time without telling Arthur, and he was also sneaking out to a local YMCA to train with some real weights. I know this because Casey told me so. However, Tim Ferriss also asked Casey about this personally when writing his book The 4 Hour Body, and this was his answer. There has been a lot of questions regarding steroid use. Many people claim that I loaded up with this experiment. I can honestly say that there was no use of steroids during this study which is a very important point. I was closely monitored in a closed environment. And Arthur Jones, who conducted the experiment, was heavily against the use of steroids, and this is stated in one of his early training manuals for Nautilus. When the study was done, Casey said that he was very proud of the results and that it contributed to the awareness of how much time is wasted in most individuals' workouts. So let's go through the results before and after those 28 days. He increased his body weight from 166.87 pounds to 212.15 for an overall gain of 45.28 pounds. He lost 17.93 pounds of body fat, so he actually gained a total of 63.21 pounds of muscle. However, Ellington Darden writes that he went from 13.8% body fat to 2.47% according to the equipment that they had during that time. So judge for yourself if you think that looks like 2.47% body fat. So this is as much reliable information I could find regarding the Colorado experiment and Casey Vader's massive gain in mass. I will link all the books and information in the description if you want to read it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the content, leave a dislike if you thought it was shit, and don't forget to subscribe to keep yourself framed. I'll be back. 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 I'm back. <laughs>